Okay. After all the rains we've had, it's time to get everything kind of moved back around, get back in normal rotation. We're actually gonna put the, the uh, we left them in here from the rain, but we're gonna bring them and put mm -hmm. them with uh, Allie right now, and then bring Daddy over right here, and then that way everybody's in fields with some kind of barn if we need it. But also let those back fields rest. The deer paddock is still underwater, so we gotta move these casts. These casts move pretty good, but they're used to a bucket. We forgot a bucket. We do have some feed though, so. Hopefully they'll move with it. Good job, guys. We pretty much walked them all the way across the farm, didn't we? All right, this field is healing up good, but we're not actually leaving them in this field. We're gonna take them all the way over there with Allie. they've ate this little paddock down still got some good grass but not enough to just sustain them for another few days so what we're going to do is, is rotate them around i'm going to think about doing the double nets we're literally going to take that in and just flip it all the way around to here flip that one all the way around to here so really we're not needing another net we're just needing them we need to trust that they're going to stay here so well, they still have some alfalfa so what we'll do is just move it over here and hopefully they'll stay right here while we move a net <laughs> All right, little update on the pig and mama. Mama's doing good. Pigs are doing phenomenal. All the seven are counted for. Uh, we've got all but two sold. These two, they're starting to swell a little bit, which is good. So I'm hoping that they are having piglets within the month. If not, they're our next bacon, but we still give them hope. So you got these babies and these are the first babies. I know we've seen them a little bit, but we don't talk about them much. One of course is the the new, the new daddy, whenever he gets a little bigger, that's the cut one here. This will be another feeder, and this will be our American guinea hog feeder. He's still got a while to grow, of course, and that's his brother, and he's going to be the next boar on farm whenever George gets finished. Let's check their water right quick, make sure they got water. All right, move the meat birds off their one spot. You see how good this, they've ate this piece down. These are foraging birds, of course, with the Freedom Ranger. So now they're on fresh grass. We gave them some grain just to kind of put them right there in the middle. I was able to move it by myself. Again, getting our animals used to, to our buckets is huge, even with chickens. So you see, we can't do anything without our nets and without those chargers working. So that was the point of the video to show you that we operate our farm in a very permaculture, sustainable agriculture kind of way where we're always rotating animals. These are the only animals that are not rotated. And to be honest with you, we're trying to rethink that too to see what we could do with our laying house to maneuver it more. All right, we are walking to the kids' fort, which is somewhere right through here. Across this little creek. I think I'll wear because I just can not stop. That's fine. It looks good. Yeah. I like it. I like it. That's good, man. So tell me about your fort. Hey, no shoes in the Um, it's a fort. Let's start with that. We made a fire pit. We covered it with leaves. Made a dome shape. I like it. You made it out of your bug out bag, huh? Uh, I used a little pair of that I found over there. Cool. Let's go see. All right, it is late. You can see it is about 9.45 to 10 at night. The guys who cut our hay is literally out here cutting our hay at this time of night. They're just trying to get, they got a late start and they happen to hit our fields. We got beautiful weather the next few days. So they're out cutting this back field. We're excited to uh, see what we can do to help and they're gonna do most of it. I'm just gonna watch them. So it's kind of cool to just see them uh, have these big bright lights on these tractors and do this all hours of the night. Crazy. <laughs> 